Blake, what's how y'all doing? Yeah, today we're going to do a review of the Masterville Gravity Series Rotisserie Kit. This thing's pretty cool, folks. And uh, we're going to show you how we put it on there. This thing on Amazon, you can find this for right around 99 bucks. And uh, like I said, keep on watching. We'll show you how it assembles and how it works. All right, you do get an instruction manual. Now you're wondering, uh, why is there only one? Well, they make this one for the 560, the 800, and the 1050. So if you're wondering, Tom, I went online and I couldn't find one for the 560 because it's universal. And there's a spitz. So they give you three spits in this universal kit. So, like, I have the 560, so I've got, I got one, I got, I'm all set up for the 560 right, right off the bat here. All right, besides the spit, here's what comes in the kit. You've got, obviously, your motor. Uh, there's your plug. Um... At first, when I saw this, I was like, what the heck do you plug that in? If you have any question as to whether or not they're selling this all over the place, look at all the different plugs. H Holy cow. So the one we would use here, <laughs> I believe, would be this one. We also have a mounting bracket. I'm assuming once you put this in, you can leave it in. And then uh, we've got this adapter. This actually fits onto the motor and turns through there. It's kind of like a bushing. And then we've got our stainless steel prongs right there to hook up our chicken. All right, putting that on, you just slip it on and then turn it and it locks into place. So now we can use it with our 110 here in the United States. So I took the plug out, you just use a flathead screwdriver and it comes apart. And then the rotisserie part of it fits in, I believe just like that. Now they have some uh, disclaimers on this. If you're gonna be running your grill higher than 450 degrees, need to take this off. I would imagine this would get a little bit on the warm side and that's plastic. So I'll just show you this outside of the grill. So this little part is gonna go through the grill and attach to the rotisserie, just like this and you would screw it in. So we'll do that. So they include a little wrench and that little wrench is what you use on here to tighten things up. I already, I already got it tight, but you would use that to take it off too. So what I'm gonna say, if you're not using rotisserie, I would take this part off because you never know when you're gonna be above 450 degrees. All right, you got three con threaded connections in here. You put your first screw in, and then you've got like this picture hanger thing that you just hang it. It's good design right there. And like I said, I'm hoping I can leave that in full time. I don't know why I wouldn't be able to. It, is, it looks like it's stainless steel too. All right, and then you just put your spit in the proper, the <laughs> proper slot there. And uh, very quiet operation. Like I said, I'm going to... I believe we can leave that bracket in, but I'm gonna take this off because you never know when you're gonna be above 450 degrees and obviously you wouldn't wanna burn anything. And obviously that means you're not gonna, not gonna use your rotisserie when it's, you know, I would, if I'm doing something in there, like I like to do an eye of round and uh, to make roast beef with, oh man, it's so good. And I can definitely see doing this very low on this grill, getting a lot of smoke in there and uh, oh, it'll be delicious. And if you want some more room, I, by, all, by all means, take your, your grates off. Folks, I hope this, Hope this has been helpful. Uh, Tom Horseman at YouTube, thumbs up, leave a comment, and as always, thanks for watching.